Hey, welcome. We want to talk to you for just a few minutes today. I've been outside. The pollen count is high, and so uh, my voice is a little scratchy, and I do apologize. But I want to talk to you for just a couple of minutes today and give you one, this is just one little small thing we can do to grow spiritually and increase our spiritual growth with God. Now, I realize today if you ask people, a lot of people is going to say, well, we need to read our Bible more. That will do it. Yes, that's correct. A lot of people is going to say, well, we need to pray more. Yes, that's correct. Okay. But I want to read to you a verse. And it's out of Proverbs chapter number nine and verse number nine. It said, instruct the wise and they will be wiser still. Teach the righteous and they will add to their learning. So the word of God here is talking about, and that's Proverbs 9, 9. The word of God here is talking about giving instruction. Now, obviously, when you give instruction, you have to receive instruction from someone. So there's a giving and a receiving. Sometimes we are on the giving instruction to others. And then I think there's sometimes we're on the receiving where people are really instructing us and giving us advice. It's up to us to listen to it and up to us to pick it up. And and basically, let me give you an example. Growing up, I was a football fan. I still am, but not like I used to be. But I still follow occasionally and watch games here and there. But I don't know. Uh, several years ago, there was a ball player that was drafted, and he was an excellent quarterback. Now, I'm sure he would like to have come in to the NFL and just started from the get-go and took the world by storm, as the saying goes. But there was a problem. There was another quarterback there that was regarded as one of the best of all time. So what this man had to do was he had to sit and wait his chance. What he did was he learned from the man that was in front of him. When it come his time, when the other man had come his time to step aside, this young quarterback and... If you know who I'm talking about, if you're a football fan, you probably know. I'm talking about Aaron Rodgers of the Green Bay Packers. When it come his time, he stepped in, took over for the man in front of him, and now he is regarded as one of the best quarterbacks of all time. If he had went in straight forward and not ever had any learning from those in front of him, he might not have the success he had today. What I'm saying today is, there is a learning process, and it's if you're wanting to grow spiritually in God, sometimes we, we can take good advice from those that are paving the way before us. You know, the other day I posted a video of my mother, and um, it was the testimony of an 88-year young woman. If you haven't seen it, please, I urge you to go back and watch it because uh, it's her talking right after surgery that she had recently. And it shows a lot of pictures of, of uh, her, her family, and myself. I'm in there in a few of them. But uh, as I would talk to her, see, I learn from her. And I watch the things she does. I have a daughter that is younger, obviously, than me, quite a bit younger than me. She can look to me and my wife the way we look to our parents or your grandparents or whoever. Any, any people that maybe they don't even have to be related. Maybe if it's somebody that you know that's been living a godly life all their life. And every once in a while they want to offer you advice. Let's learn from them. Let's, why, why do you want to do that? Because they have been there. They are paving the way for us. I want to give you an example today. Growing up, I've heard a lot of people over the years talk in churches and, and uh, testify in churches. A lot of times, these people I've heard time and time again. But I'll tell you what, I cannot remember very much at all of what was said. But sometimes, they'll say things that stick out in your mind. Let me give you a couple of examples. One example was a man that... Uh, when I was when I was a younger, I was a teenager. Uh, this man played music in the out in the world scene. I mean, he wasn't playing for God. He didn't uh, acknowledge God. I don't reckon in his life. Well, um, he then gave his heart to God. 
gave his life to the Lord. That music that he started playing, or that he was playing for the world, he started playing for God. Wonderful singer, wonderful singer. I heard him stand up as, as I always enjoyed listening to him sing. I heard him stand up one night and he told people, he told, told a crowd of people, he said, don't look at me. He said, if you look at me, he said, I'm just a man. If you look at me and if I fall, and he was talking about spiritually, he said, if I fall, he said, you may fall with me. He said, don't look to me. He said, look to God. And you know what? That has always stuck out to me. I can't remember a lot of other things I ever heard him say, but that is one thing that always went into my mind, and I can still remember it, and I can still use it in my life. Okay, let me give you another example. I heard a man one time talking, and he was talking about, um, um, well, he had a friend, actually. He was talking to this friend. The friend didn't believe in God. The friend did not believe in heaven. The friend did not believe in hell. He did not believe in an eternity of any kind. He believed once this life was over, it was done. And he told the man one time, he told this Christian man, he said, he said, uh, he said he was just going to live his life and ride it out. And he said, when he, when it come time for him to leave this world, he said he was done. And he said, don't you want to do basically what, what he was doing? And this man told, he was telling us, and he told us what he told him. He told the man, he said, he said he was having a wonderful life living for God. He said he was doing, he was doing wonderful living for God. But he told the man, and remember, this man did not believe in heaven. He did not believe in a hell. He did not believe in eternity. He didn't believe in anything after this life was over. And the man told him, he said, I would rather live my life and believe in a hereafter. And he said, if I'm wrong, then he said, what have I lost? But he said, if you live your life and don't believe in an eternity and you find out you're wrong, then he said, you'll have to pay forever. He said, basically what he was saying was, he said, I would rather live my life like there is an eternity and find out that there isn't than to live my life believing there isn't only to find out that there is which he did believe, but you understand what he's trying to say. I hope you understand the point he was trying to make. And it, and it always stuck with me. A lot of times this man would talk, and I would hear him talk. They would come over, and he would fish with us. And, I mean, we heard him talk many times, and I don't remember a lot. I mean, I was a little kid, but for some reason, that's always stood out to me. There was a lady that was talking one time, and I knew her really well. And... uh she was telling a story. She said, uh, someone was asking her one time, said, said, uh, what kind of religion do you have? And the woman said, I leaned over to her and she said, I said, I don't have religion. She said, I have salvation. And I thought, you know, that's a good way to phrase it. It always stood out to me. She said, I don't have religion. She said, I have salvation. And uh, and then there was another one one time. This is the fourth one. And I'm going to stop on this one. But I hope you're understanding, and I'm going to make a point here in a moment. This this man that, uh, again, and I was a little kid. I mean, I'm, I know you might look at me and think I'm 25, 28 years old. Well, you probably don't, but anyway, you get the point. Uh, I am a little older than that. But when I was actually that young or younger, there was a man that used to talk like he would get he would get up of a morning and he said sometime he would he would just feel so good. He said he'd feel like he could take the devil under each arm and swim the Atlantic Ocean. Do I remember a lot of the other things he said? No. But see, a lot of those times I probably wasn't giving everything my full attention. But yet I heard just enough that those stuck with me. 
And to this day, I can remember and I can still, you know, and if somebody comes up to me sometimes and they want to, they want to ask you, you know, or talk, well, let's talk about, you know, religion. I might think about what she said and said, well, let me just tell you about salvation. Or, you know, if it's somebody that comes up and says, oh, you know, look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing. You know, look what I'm doing. I might think about that man that said, don't look at me. Look at God. Because if I fall, you'll fall with me. See, what I'm saying is the scripture talks about learning and it talks about giving instruction. So it talks about us. We can be a two-way player. We can give instructions to others. And we can receive their instruction or their wisdom. See, that's what these people, I can't, people that's 20 years older than me or 10 years older than me, I can't tell them or I can't tell you what it's like to do what they've done because I've not been there. All I can do is tell you what I've done. In turn, my daughter can't tell you what I've done in her, as far as her life, because she's not been here. See, it's a process. We can all learn from each other. So those people that sometimes, elderly people is what we would classify them as. You know, my mother, she's 88. But you know what? I can still learn a lot from her. And I want to take the things I've learned and teach my daughter and have her learn them from me. And we can learn from each other. It don't have to be a family member. You know, it could be a, it could be anybody you know that has a relationship with God. You know, we can learn from each other. That's one way we can grow spiritually. Yes, we can read the Bible. We need to read the Bible. We need to to pray more. We need to read the Bible more. These are these are givens. But let's not forget that our testimonies that we give and our testimonies that we hear other people give can instruct us and help us to make us stronger in our Christian life. I want you to be able to watch these videos and feel like you're a stronger Christian because maybe you're instructed here or you learn something here that, you know, maybe is new to you or not necessarily new, but maybe will just help you or encourage you. That is what our goal here is for. So, I hope we all can grow spiritually together. We're all still growing. I mean, we're growing. We're going to keep growing. All of us are going to keep growing. And let's grow together and help each other grow. If you like what you've heard here and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to this channel. We appreciate it. We hope each and every one of you today will uh, like, leave a comment, and please share this with your friends. Because we're living in a day and a time where the Church of the Living God has some things that we can do. We can, we can help the world see Christ. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, share it with your friends. God loves you, God bless you, and we'll catch you on the next video.